Uh, let's do some uh, exporting and importing of stuff. Perhaps not that useful with uh, musical parts, but when recording drums, it may, may be quite useful to reuse parts. So it's possible to export parts. I can put, I have a, a part, uh, part directory here, so I will place it here. Silly organ pt, like that. I save it there. So now if we want to add more of those parts, we could take that one and add it like that. I'll turn off the uh, turn off the metronome. Ad other ways to um, edit parts in the arranger is um, to click and drag. I will add another MIDI track here just for showing. Uh, let's do like this first. We can. I, I right clicked on the part at the point where I started playing. I click uh, split. This, this is now split in two. So I click this one and click the delete button on the keyboard. And remove it. You can do the same thing at the end here. Split and delete. Now uh, we can move this part around here so I can move it like that if I want to. And uh, if I press Ctrl and C here to copy it, automatically the play pointer will be placed at the end of the part. So if I press Ctrl and V to uh, paste the part, it will be placed at the end. Uh, another way to do this is to hold the Shift key and click on a part and drag it. Then it would be copied. Uh, I can do that with multiple parts and drag them all to the end like that. I have lots of organs here. <laughs> still have the looping going on here. I can disable the looping. Okay, uh, let's work on the soft synth sound a little bit. Uh, up here at the top of the, the channel strip, there's um, so, some empty slots here where you can place plugins. I can right click here and select new. And there's an, uh, a selection dialog with all the plugins that I have installed on my system. So if I want to have um, a reverb, I can, uh, to make it easier, I can uh, search for reverb. It, Riv was all it took to get the list that's possible to, to read. Let's take the plate reverb. Now if we listen to this will be quite different. I double click on it. I can add more reverb like that. Another way to add plugins and to store presets. There's a possibility to save presets here where Exactly like you store parts, you can store presets. And I have some presets here that we can try to set on this. If we, oh, sorry, uh, I was going to click move down. A re reverb is generally best placed at the end. Move down. And we can add uh, organs sound good with distortion. Let's try that. It 
so here's the GUI for the organ or for the amplifier distortion. This button is to enable or disable the plugin so I can turn it off. It's not a dramatic change, but it's a bit more energy. And if you then add uh, this chorus effect, oh, oh no, I think we'll remove that one. We get uh, a little bit of a rotary effect. That's not too bad. Okay, one other thing with organs is that uh, they they are not um, pressure sensitive. So there are several ways to simulate that. I use the keyboard that is sensitive, so uh, there's not all hits are the same, exactly the, the, the same velocity. We can go into the parts and change um, all the notes to have the same velocity. I, can, I will in a later tutorial, tutorial demo that, but for this one I will demo this. Velocity and compression. Uh, the velocity part is the minimum velocity that notes can have. In, in MIDI, velocity is between 0 and 127. If I up this to 100 and uh, we start playing, it will be a lot louder than it was earlier. Oh, sorry. can bring that back. 100. I will click on the canvas and press space. Now the distortion is a bit more pronounced because the the volume into the uh, uh, plug-in is much higher, so if we think it's too much, I can open it up, oh there it was, and, and lower it a bit. Like that. And uh, the, uh, the other one here, compression, is to set uh, a maximum or, or it goes from the other way and limits the top uh, of the, the of the velocity for the for the notes so if i if i lower this to zero again and set this to 25 which is the least it can be we will get um, the velocity won't change much but it will be very low Oh, sorry, like that. I almost can't hear it. But be better the other way. Like that. Groovy. Okay, I think that's all for this tutorial. Thank you, and um, I'll give you another one shortly. Bye.